We're here at BMO Field, home of the championship Toronto FC and the Toronto Argonauts. I'm with super sports fan Mark Daniel. And Friday, it's going to be a big preseason game for the Toronto Argonauts. All eyes on Johnny Manziel, who could be the starting quarterback for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. So now there's Vegas odds on if is going to blow up. You know, I never envisioned this being exactly how my career would go. But at the end of the day, uh, this is where my life is right now, and I have to make the most of that. What's going to happen? I think it's great news for the CFL. I think it's great news for Hamilton. It's a it's a win-win for everybody. I mean, we get to see someone who was so highly touted when he came into the NFL. Of course, he blew up his career with the Cleveland Browns. But now he's going to come and try and do a reset for the Hamilton Tiger Cats. He signed a two-year deal. I think everybody's going to be interested in the CFL. It's going to be great for everyone. All right, Hamilton Tiger Cats have a big job on their hands. How successful they will be, we'll find out. From the CFL to the NFL, last year, the National Football League suffered a big controversy with their anthem issues. Well, just recently, the league came out with a new policy. And the right thing to support our players, but also do the right thing to make sure we get back to football. And in the meantime, people understand how important our country is and how important it is to make sure that we're doing things the right way to honor our country. And Canadian actor uh, Jim Carrey has decided, Mark, that he wants to weigh in on this and is telling uh, yeah. sponsors to boycott. Yeah, he wants sponsors to boycott the NFL. He feels it's a double standard when uh, Donald Trump was a draft dodger and uh, he thinks that they're trying to like censor the players. And I mean, I can't believe we're still talking about mm -hmm. this. I mean, the NFL is still a couple months out. Yeah, there's no question about that. The NFL really dropped the ball on this issue, no, no doubt about it. But why do we have to hear from a has-been Canadian actor? Oh. Idiot! What? Do you realize what you've just done? You just cost me 25 grand, Polly. Yeah, blow me. I don't think Jim Carrey's a has-been. In fact, I think it's great that when actors, musicians, people of note use their platform to try and just draw attention to social issues. I've got no problem with that. I actually think it's good use of their time. But it often backfires. You can't live in the past, Dan. When things are gone, they're gone forever. So you know what, Mr. Carrey, maybe you should just be quiet and paint. The NBA Finals start and the Cleveland Cavaliers are once again meeting the Golden State Warriors. But what everybody's talking about is will King James actually retire, Mark? No, that's fake news. LeBron James isn't going anywhere. I mean, he has a son that's 13 years old and he wants to be able to play with his son in the NBA, so that's fake news. I'm just really happy that we get to see the King in, uh, yet again, his eighth NBA Finals. That is just something that we are all witnessing greatness and history really right yeah, now. I know everyone's talking about whether or not LeBron James will indeed be the greatest of all time. I set out a goal two years when I came back to bring a championship to this city. I gave everything that I had. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game. All right, let's talk about the Kardashian Jenners and NBA players because that's a reasonable segue. It's a serious relationship. To level five. Out of what? Six. Six. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, another another Jenner dating an NBA player. Like, yeah. what's, why don't they like hockey players? What do these poor hockey players have to do to date Sorry, a Kardashian? And I don't even know why we're talking about this. I mean, like, we're talking about LeBron James, greatest player of all time, and somehow the Jenners insinuate themselves into every, and the Kardashians, into every facet of society. I wish they'd just go There's away. There's a lot of people Googling Ben Simmons right now, though, and finding out who, is, who he is. Who he is. Well, he's a great basketball player. I wish he had better taste in women. So Adrian, you're deep in the political world. You've worked in, in mayoral campaigns in Toronto. I gotta get your opinion. What do you think of this news that Brian Colangelo, president of the Sixers, former president of the Raptors, he's been accused of having five burner Twitter accounts, <laughs> which he used to burn Sixer players, competition and other coaching staff of the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. What do you think of that? Well, he's certainly taking a page out of the dark arts of the political world. It's something that we do. It's called oppo research. Um, I can tell you, I, I may or may not have had a few of those fake Twitter <laughs> accounts myself just to go in and, and drop bombs on, on your political enemies. So unsurprising to me that he would do this. What is surprising to me, however, is that he wasn't smart enough and got caught. Well, it wouldn't be a sports conversation if we didn't at the very least touch on What's happening with the Toronto Blue Jays? 
Oh, my poor Blue Jays. Yes, I'm a diehard Blue Jay fan, but right now things do not look good for them. They just got beaten up in Boston by the Red Sox. Josh Donaldson is down with a leg injury. Marcus Stroman, I don't know when he's going to be back out on the starting mound. So, yeah, things don't look great for Blue Jays fans right now. Last up, let us know who wore it better. Take a look at the picture right now. Serena Williams, fresh off of coming from the royal wedding and recently had a baby, showed up at the French Open in a Black Panther-esque outfit. Or the mascots for the Las Vegas Golden Knights that look like something like out of medieval times. Well, that's enough smack talk for today. Log on to Facebook, Twitter, let us know what you think, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.